Where do I begin with this show? Holy crap. Hey, what's going on, everyone? My name's Sedin Rao. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another episode of Snow Review. <laughs> where I watch anime and I give my thoughts and opinions on them for you guys. Now, first off, okay, holy crap. I just want to say one thing first expectations blown out of the water okay this show has exceeded my expectations and i am proud to say i am now a fan of attack on titan um i don't even know where to begin if i'm gonna be honest with you there is so much that happens in season one but we just get the introduction to Eden jaeger um and mikasa um ackerman um, they're two kids that grew up together when they were younger um, with their friend Armin, best boy. Armin, best boy. One day, an, an, an armored titan, or um, a colossal titan, attacks the city and forces them to retreat back um, into a different section of um, the walls they're in. I guess I can explain I, the Attack on Titan world, uh, the walls that are there, but like this is season one. This came out in 2013. I'm 100% sure you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I guess in case if you don't, there are three walls. Humanity um, made these three um, to help um, protect against uh, Titans. So that uh, essentially is that. So the first wall uh, collapsed and they had to retreat back to the second wall. So, oh boy. Um, yeah, dude, I... Wow. Just wow. Like, I think it's... I, I don't even know where to begin, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I did not expect um, the amount of storytelling uh, to be, like, this compelling. Like, to be this, um, you know, like, invest... Like, I can get this invested. Like, um, I didn't really cry much watching uh, season one so far. But I did grow an attachment to a good amount of characters. And I know it's probably a bad thing. Because, dude, this show, this show freaking, it kills people off so quick. And it happens so often. Like, freaking, I feel like I'm Levi Ackerman over here. Uh, what's it called? Just heartless. Like, not even heartless, but like, you're just, I'm just numb to it. Because of how much it's happened. And it's it's still painful every time, and it's sad that, um, you know, I get really, I, I start to really like some characters. Uh, like, for example, Levi's Squad. I actually started liking them, and then boom, they're just dead. Um, but that's what I like about this. It's, a, it's an uphill battle, and I think that's uh, a really cool part of the, of the show I like so far, is that um, it really it really helps depict and paint that this is an uphill battle that humanity is trying to win and No matter how much they try They have suffered countless loss after loss after loss and it, it pays a toll on them So so when you have people like Aaron who are eager to join the survey corp and actually go and attack like attack the titans okay i i didn't mean that no like you get aaron to actually like go for these titans it's stuff like it's it's like it's rare 25 episodes of this i watched it all um in literally three days so uh don't at me uh i i got a little bit addicted um but holy crap dude oh and then freaking annie's uh Annie's a uh, like betrayal thing figuring out that she was um she's probably working with someone else like she's a titan herself she can transform just like uh Aaron can and holy crap that was uh I kind of I don't know it here's the thing here's the thing right this is what really this is what really is cool to me right when Aaron transforms into his titan form he bites himself and is able to uh, uh, like a bolt of lightning it's like lightning that statics are around you and you um you just transform that means the colossal titan and the armored titan that attacked the the city 
at the beginning of the story are people themselves. And that's what leads to this whole thing of um, there being imposters among the among the the military that's there, the serve the serve the serve corp, um, the uh, the city police. I don't remember their names fully, um, but they're like the three divisions. There's imposters among them. I'm just I'm I'm wanting to know more. Like I just wanna. I want to I want to sink my teeth into this more. I want to like just in in have more of it. Um, this might be a very sm short review because I'm just given what my th this is literally I finished I finished season one literally not too long ago. I just came back from the gym at the time of recording this. So um, before I went to the gym, I was I just wrapped up season one. It's heartbreaking at times and it, it's thrilling and. I'm 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 glad to say that my expectations um, were blown out of the park going into this, and um, I don't know right now where I would put Attack on Titan in my anime tier list, but holy crap, I, I it, it's probably gonna be up there. Uh, it, it ain't gonna be One Piece. I mean, nobody can be One Piece. He ain't gonna be Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy, bro. I, I don't know. I don't know what much there is to more to say. I'm just um, I'm thankful. I'm thankful that uh, I got told to watch this show and excited. Or gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna be watching season two soon. Um, oh yeah, I should probably explain that. So, so um, I'm switching up the format. I'm doing it. So if it's not an anime that's like um, just one season on its own, uh, I will I will continue reviewing that anime till I'm caught up to the current time unless i drop the anime because i can't stand it uh and then i would give a review why i can't stand it yeah so this is gonna be um probably a review for season one a uh, little bit a little, little short and sweet as i can see on my uh my timer a little bit a little bit of 10 minutes uh short and sweet but i think it really just um for me just hits the point like seeing this and uh there's not really much i can say that adds to uh what's already been established but other than my thoughts were completely blown and expectations blown out of the water and i'm thankful for that still um other than that uh i don't know what well i don't know what to expect going into season two and i'm probably gonna have a season two part come out very soon oh and then another thing um this episode is being edited by a friend of mine, a really good friend. Um, matter of fact, she is uh, like family to me, and I'm really thankful um, that she's uh, wanting to help with this series. And um, hopefully, you guys like her editing style. Uh, it's a little, it's a little bit different. It's going to be a little bit different compared to what I do, but um, I'm giving her full free uh, creative range on it, um, and I'm letting her be able to do do what she wants with it. But um, Hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to go ahead and that's going to wrap um, season one of Attack on Titan. Uh, like, I, yeah, <laughs> I just I'm just rambling at this point. Like, I don't watch season two already. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure to like or dislike or, you know, however you want to rate. Comment down below. Let me know how I did. Let me know what I can improve. Either way, I'm gonna. It's gonna help me grow as a content creator, uh, and yeah. Until next time, stay sexy. Also, what's her name? What's her name? No, what's her name? Zoe, Zoe Hange. I think that's how you pronounce her. She's my waifu. Don't even at me, okay? I hate I. Okay, someone said, okay, someone said she is like a female version of me when I have my glasses on. And now I'm mad because I can see it. So, there's that. But anyway, my waifu, do not touch her.